Oh, don't flop the Booze Town Beach Bash. Who the fuck's still here? Make some noise! Yeah. I'm talking about the yeah. old Brighton Beach. We're old Brighton Beach, man. Like I said, four years ago, don't flop started here in the very same place. Actually, a hotel car park somewhere up around there, actually. O'Shea vs. Too Easy, first ever don't flop battle that popped off. It weren't even on the official don't flop channel. Shout out all of you that's in that battle, man. We got a lot of the crew in the building. Uh, we got a massive following in Brighton. It's so fucking great to see so many people turn up to see the battles. This is the third and final written pre prepared battle of the day. Maybe some freestyle shit afterwards. On the right hand side from London, we got Verb T and Joker Star. Make some noise. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, on the left hand side, and never two on two before, it's been a long time in the making. We got Tony D and Locksmith. Make some noise. Yeah. Tony Smith coming soon. Yeah, shout out to them, shout out to them. Make sure you check out that Don't Flop Records, man. Don'tflop.bandcamp.com is fucking sick, man. Okay, the final thing's coming up right now. Uh, my dudes on the right won the flip. They chose Tone and Lock to go first. This is a, um, a promo battle. No judges on this one. It's a showcase exhibition right now. Yeah, <laughs> on the left. I'm going for it. On the left, it's on them. Let's go. Yo, <laughs> you two against us. Come on. We just came here to kill time before you saying gets his run on. <laughs> Ready to spit flows. Okie dokie. Slot Smith, bro. And he's called D Tony. Ready to rip both these bitch clones of Klitschko and Joseph Coney. <laughs> I, bet <laughs> I bet you two plotted nights concocting rhymes. Mm. Eating cottage pies, lots of fries, washed down with lots of sprite. Mm. Joker's mum bursting with jollof rice like. Hey, Tom, it's nice, and your reply is No thanks, Mrs. Star. I don't like a lot of spice. See, if we lose tonight, huh? If we lose tonight, huge surprise. To reach our level, many combos the two have tried. So super size. Before you come and set to lose your life, it would have been better for Heath Ledger if this Joker committed suicide. <laughs> Now, I've been knowing Verb since the old days. Uh -huh. When he was too young to use a kettle, and his name was Verb OJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit>. Colourful <laughs> character. As long as the colour's beige. Or some other shade of dull and grey. And every song the sound the fucking same. So, when we got to write this out, what we got to finding out is when your ass is as dull as dishwater, there ain't that much to write about. <laughs> 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 Bruv, you're actually bland. And in the last battle he had, Whole scheme called his opponent an average man, but you still couldn't deal with that matter at hand. Uh, uh, hey, 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 that's disrespectful. Because he's a legend. And he does something different than you and I do. Yeah, we both sit and write tunes with a spliff and vibe. True. But he makes that ridiculous music you can commit suicide to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, verb cause a great depression. It don't make a great impression. It made me want to take a bladed weapon, slash until the vein is severed, or jump off of the 82nd floor, only the pavement beckons. <laughs> he came with paid protection. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you came with paid protection. Let me change direction. Wait a second. I'll get your wife, make a brave suggestion, and get my balls in like I've been taking lessons from David Beckham. It occurred to us a month later. One. You ain't got much flavor. Two. You never bust major. And three. You're only in this game because you was Harry Love's neighbor. <laughs> Yeah, we chose to come back here. It's like we had the roll game. Me and Locker Doe put in a bag of cocaine. Mm. Verb is so lame. What he pack is so great. That's why they use his mixtape to torture inmates at Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> yeah. Now this that Jay Z takeover in the style of his rhyme. Ten albums in ten years. Huh. I can divide. That's one every say one. All of them shits was dumb. Not one was even. Uh, the, the rest was real tragic. Now that's a no hot album every, every ten year average. average. Tony oh. Smith. Running this rap shit, get zipped up in plastic. When it happens, that's it. Let's go. Bro, oh, run, bro, run, let's go. Shout out to Alright. Yo, it's uh, Verb T and Joker Star, round one, let's go. No battles every 10 year average. Y'all don't have one between, album between you, and that's tragic. Uh. <laughs> Yo, so how many doubters have we got to make believers? We about to play you like the casino and you ain't nearly breaking even. Uh. Ain't no telling what state you'll be in cause you about to take a beat and you may have seen us in our last 2 on 2 versus David Cameron and Shaking Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> but this time me and Joker are approaching it's like a Def Squad. Flip your head top like the best sniper headshot. Kill you in the open, everyone can smell your flesh rot. That's how they know that T's explosive. It's like you're writing me a symphony the way I leave Tony D composing. They're like, Tony D composing? No. 
Tony decomposing off the leak in hemoglobin Shit, he left the scene a while back and no one even noticed He's a poisonous poet, I don't know how impressive that is When every dude that featured in his crew with him is better than him So you may have some people fooled with that semi-aggressive rapping But to me your raps are about as hard as a wet lettuce, you faggot <laughs> See I called him a faggot, but I don't want to hear any homophobic accusations aimed at me When I call him a faggot, I'm just saying the shape of his face to me Reminds me of one of them meatballs you find in the freezer <laughs> section of Sainsbury's <laughs> Let's go, bro. I didn't think you two would accept this kind of job. <laughs> you two said on two occasions, no black on black of any kind at all. So when you accepted this battle, I thought it was kind of odd. It's obvious you two have raised your spirits up since I am God. So it's only right to send tone up. For trying to exercise them bars. <laughs> <laughs> you lazy. Tone put in the work in now. I mean, Locke put in the work in now. <laughs> Funny how you lazy and your battle career the one that isn't working out. You want to exercise with God? I'll exercise your squad. Brother, I'll cut you to we trim bone. Slice you to the rib showing. Ain't no issue of race when we talk about how we skin tone. <laughs> Now, Locksmith's been working hard. He's been putting fire in that rhyme pad. Congratulations, you are now reveals hype man's hype man. <laughs> See, Tony is now team with a man that cannot spit to be, but to be fair, at least he's well aware that rapping is not him. That's why he named himself after his real profession. He's an actual locksmith. <laughs> but wait, no, I understand, G, it's a name, a metaphor about how you got the key to the game or something equally lame. But you sound, but you sound slow like you got a leech on the brain. See, do, do not mistake Smith for a dude that sounds deep. I'm sharp, I will have you looking stupid round me. Promoters won't book you because your music sounds weak. They say, don't call us, we'll call you locksmith if we lose our house keys. Tagging and bagging. <laughs> don't treat this like your debut because this ain't that. You already smashed the Wayne Rooney MC like a glass ornament. We ain't overrated ballers and this ain't a football tournament. So how the hell you think you're gonna score the win? Mm. Now I ain't saying I made you, but how you gonna kill me with a style that I gave you? Oh. You better switch it up or keep it moving to a different zone. Funny how you still sound the same, but it's clear to see you rapping with a different tone. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Alright, see, I've got some respect for Locksmith because he might actually help Tony get his act together. Mm. I know a few producers you've worked with and they say you're one of the laziest rappers ever. <laughs> <laughs> they say if you, if you try and wipe more than one verse to a beat, you'll get confused and make a stupid face. Laziness is something you embrace. Most athletic thing you ever did is lift the zoo and swig a Lucasade. <laughs> <laughs> see, you may have beat Ill Mac. You might have beat Ill Mac. But if you can't make one solo track, I still won't respect him. Such a lazy bastard, he bought his girl the world's largest dildo collection. <laughs> you lazy bitch. <laughs> See, if your house was on fire, Tony, I doubt you'd care. You'd probably finish your spliff and down your beer before you got up out your chair to go and find your kids and get them out of there. Oh, we could have See, I hate lazy people, especially when they got skill. I mean, in all them years you've been rapping, you couldn't make one album, one EP, or even get a solo track in. I mean, what the fuck, Tony? Were you scared to face the challenge? We should write a biography about him called One Massive Fucking Waste of Talent. Time, mate. That's time. That's got to be time, yo. That's time. Yo, yo. All right, Tony D and Locksmith, round two. Let's go. Joker star. Yes, brother. Joker star. Yes, brother. A black jack. <laughs> hey, hey, Joker star. Yes, brother. A black jack, as he's known to star for his local poker bar. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're one of the nicest dudes. Righteous too. So I didn't even want to have to write for you or expose the fact or underlying truth that you're about, what, 92? Despite what your license proves. <laughs> Buff, you're so African. <laughs> <laughs> They barred your ass from every large store in Slough, Bracknell and Reading for credit card fraud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he's pissed, because they seized Kebby's passport. 
And he had him in a few names. <laughs> they kept his last four, like Terry Mark George. Yeah. And he's no black beauty, but he's a very dark horse. <laughs> <laughs> you, you and tattoos, you shouldn't fuck with them at all. Uh -uh. But it's like doing graffiti with spray paint the same colour as the wall. <laughs> and then, and then, you expect us to believe that you grip the chrome heat, let the triggers blow? Please, blood, you got exactly the same hair as my six year old niece. <laughs> That's quite lame, bruv. Get a nice fade, bruv, with a nice shape up. Because at your age, with braids, you need to step your life game up! I bet you was the kid in school. Ridiculously big and tall. Ridiculed. Tight PE kit that didn't fit at all. You ran. They called you John Barnes as you was kicking ball. And to this very day, you still support Liverpool. <laughs> When I was 14, yeah. it was selling and buying, balance the clients. When you was 14, you was an incredible giant known for wrestling lions. <laughs> or, 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 let me guess, measuring bison to stitch together a jacket to impress all your tribesmen. <laughs> but you bought that Adam Sandler flick and got pissed when you played it, son. Uh -huh. Cause you imagine Click was a documentary in your native tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. This stupid bruh lives in a voodoo lair. <laughs> and he practices juju there. With some Zulu spares. And a lock of Desmond Tutu's hair. <laughs> Crocodile tooth he wears. Ah. Wait, that he dived in and killed with that scuba gear. And got himself the smoothest pair of croc skin shoes to wear. To match his fruit boot gear. Cause that's a that native swag. <laughs> now, Joker star, you got a ridiculous style, yeah? Similes now is that flipping the stand. Nah, I'm just kidding around and pissing about. Only thing I'm having trouble figuring out is how the fuck did you get an American accent living in Slough? <laughs> nah. Let's go. Now, I got a message from your family yesterday, or we did, and it was a voice note, not text on page, yeah? And what it said to say is they missed you since you went away, but now have been kept as slaves and kept awake for several days. Ah, oh, it was deep. So I pressed pause, went to blaze, hoping that my head was straight, come back, accidentally pressed the raise. But I think the last thing they mentioned is said to say... Wait, let me get this right. Walla, 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 walla. <laughs> Oh na na, oh na. Joker star, save us. <laughs> Time. <laughs> they don't like Africans. It's clear. It's clear. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, let's go. Yo, let's go. Yeah, Tony D. Can <laughs> I ask you a question about? What you do with that punchline shit? Let me shut up, man. Let's talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a question about you and your punchline shit. Bruv, why you do the bogle after every time one of your punchlines hit? <laughs> I mean, you move your hands and your hips when you finish your rhymes like you dance in the UP40's red, red wine. <laughs> You sweet reggae boys are hardcore rhymers. I get it, you Shaka Demas and you Pliers. When it comes to this rapping shit, you both tired. Make you want them bang them rounds, pow, make them Batman sounds. For you small timers, if you thinking you leave for B, my piece move forward and hit your crew up with that more fire. Boy! Boy. Yeah, see, Locksmith's not totally shit. I can kind of respect the way he works his bars, but people say if you listen to his music, he sometimes alludes to a somewhat murky past. See, as a kid, he was fascinated with gangster films, the women and the drugs and the chicks as well. See, he kept a water pistol in his trousers, always looked like he had pissed himself. <laughs> see, as a kid, he talked in mafia slang, he thought it made him sound extra cool. He used to put his fucking packed lunch in a condom and swallow it before he went to school. <laughs> <laughs> but now, now he's got a CD called Urban Legend, but that name hasn't got a great feel. Because if you're an urban legend, it means you get a lot of mention, but you probably ain't real. 
But wait, no, I understand. Yeah, it's a name about how you get respect in the streets and they praise or something equally gay. But you sound slow like there's a parasite eating your brain. See, so remember verse Rooney MC? You said you were going to hit him if he made too many mum jokes. That was dumb, no, because he made a bunch of mum jokes and did you hit him? Um, no. <laughs> See, with that plus your voice, don't you know you sound gay? That's why you can't wait to get tone alone. Because when he gets tone alone, he's like, hey, tone, there's no one round. Great. Then he lowers the tone like a joke about rape. <laughs> oh, like a joke about rape. <laughs> 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 I treat locksmith in a bait fashion Keep that leng cock as I walk straight past him He think... <laughs> as I walk straight past him He think I'm ignoring him when I face blast him He gonna stop, drop after I pop, lock like we break dancing <laughs> You two think you in the driver's seat of this battle from the start brethren this ain't a fucking tune on your mixtape about how you East London man blast weapons, you shit rappers. I came here to show you my Formula One to keep that big talk for the tracks like a race car engine. See, Tony, why'd you call yourself Luger Larynx? That's just dumb. Your voice ain't that powerful, you should call yourself Cap Gun Lungs. <laughs> See, maybe you should slow up with all the smoking tone. I mean, you don't suppose that might help you strengthen up your vocal tone? See, I can tell your show's a week and I ain't even seen your set before Cause when you shout, your voice cracks and you really can't project at all You're a pathetic force, your nickname is Paddy Black, fuck is that? Sounds like a mixed race leprechaun <laughs> A leprechaun? See, fuck Tony D, I'm like Tony Starks with a blueprint Walk into the battle with a weapon drawn That mean it shots fired This ain't grind time, but I'ma crush you down like a peppercorn Sprinkle the ashes Stress you more than a messy whore You went in raw, she said it's yours She never thought about aborting it You bend her, I don't mean a battle rapper or contortionist <laughs> I'm talking about you're an awkward prick With awful spits We should tie this prick to the ground And force feed him mortar bricks Cause I'm sorta sick like morbid torture and waterboarding I will kill both of your parents and then eat you're an orphan. Oh, See, you sleep. <laughs> you sleeping on me, sort of snoring, acting like you're more important. But while you smoke yourself to sleep, I'll be off in Europe touring. Best you'll ever do is open up for someone. You're a door hinge. <laughs> hey. But that is fucking fantastic, Tony. It shows that you're supportive. While I'm performing slaughter, leave you hung, drawn, and quartered. So face to face with two dope MCs, you'll see tone shit is boxers. Cause yeah, you're alright, but your style's basic. Set up, punch, you like a real shitty boxer. You two, some mugs. <laughs> I'm getting Tony neck deep in some bullshit. That's out of order. You two trying to kill me? Pork calling kettle black, that's what I thought of. You gonna get tea put in a bag. That's what happens when you hang with mugs that always put you in hot water. Oh. I am legend. Everyone love the way I move a crowd. You're that urban legend, the one no one believes in or gives a fuck about. So this battle here like a film script. I am legend. You gonna die. You will, Smith. Oh. This battle here like a film script. I am legend. You gon' die. You will Smith. <laughs> Done. 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 Yo. I'm a terror from the new school. Shit is getting very brutal. I'm back at Don't Flop bringing terror here as usual. My debut made you say I'm great because you viewed full the way I put Rooney in a box like a fucking Gerard Frubel. <laughs> Now this chubby weakling, been getting tubby round the stomach region. Look like you spent a bunch of evenings comfort eating. <laughs> you, need to stop. you need to stop cook with lard. And book with staff for fitness first to push your ass. <laughs> I'll take your pussy clout, chupid rass to jump and prance at Zumba class. <laughs> you get a box in the chest for always acting like the god in the flesh. Or I just give him a jab like a doctor instead. Guys, off with his head. Because the only time you were spitting sick, yep, say it, is that clip of you in a hospital bed. I mean, he took it too literally. You misunderstood the meaning of really being a sick MC. <laughs> <laughs> you know why Joker, this Joker gets air from the hose. Because in a barefooted pose, he stands there and he goes, Hi, I'm Kebby Conte and I'm heir to the throne of Sierra Leone. <laughs> ask, ask Kwame there because he knows. Yeah, it's true. You got leopard skin pants and a barefoot coat. Ten wives with bones pierced through their nose. Eight of them named Ngozi. Then there's Mary and Rose. They all shaped like Makozi. And can hunt deer with a stone. 
<laughs> now, I say this, I say this with my hand on my dick, because I feel cocky when I say this. No one on this beach got Verb T rocking on their playlist. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, that ain't true. And, yeah. Even if it ain't, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> style is basic so you've tried to add verb and still couldn't manage to modify your phrases oh. yeah <laughs> in that Yunnan battle yeah. you choked and had a flashback and shit to the deepest darkest African bits to the mud hut of a shack where you live when your mum got mad and she flipped started chatting and click you got battered and whipped <laughs> and whacked with a stick <laughs> and started reliving getting smacked as a little kid Smack to the little kid! Smack to the little kid! If you don't get it, go back to the clip, that's what he actually did. Yeah. I'm gonna rap like verb two now. <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to figure out how to do my missus proud under this vicious clown. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to do my missus proud under this vicious cloud. It's mostly all filler now, and by the time I finish rounds, everybody in the crowd sitting down, chilling out. <laughs> There's a couple even kipping now. Because when you open your mouth to speak, everybody sound asleep faster than counting sheep. I mean, you choke a lot. You likewise. You put yourselves in body bags. You MI5 spies. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah, you MI5 spies. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. Let's go, Locky. Mm. Yo. Mm. Yeah, you choke, you likewise. You put oh. yourself in the body bag. You MI5. Oh, hey, listen. <laughs> you, yeah, I fucked up. Fuck it, but I'm getting great. <laughs> you fucked up in a battle, and that's something I will not let get away. Because you pressed one and proceeded to read bars off of your phone. SNM. S-M-H <laughs> Nah <laughs> You two think Darwin's theory of evolution is fake? We're simply there to prove that it ain't Can we get some space please? <laughs> right Cos Yeah If you think that Darwin's theory of evolution is fake We're here to prove that it ain't Cos First dude was an ape And from the very first human is changed It manoeuvred for a few different stage The pattern cycle of Michael From black the complete removal of traits. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Right. 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 Final round of the battle, Bird T and Joker, let's go. Alright, look. Now I'm a carnivore that's schooled in the art of war. Locksmith's like an afterthought whose rhyme style can't mature. I mean, that's arrested development. You're like the rap Gary Coleman. See, I should wild out like this to film Leon and I'm Gary Oldman. But I don't need to pop a pill to show I got the proper skill to take them shots to kill. Yeah, I spit raps from a hospital bed. One reason you are not as ill. I got the steel like I'm from Chef City. You got that soft as cotton feel. Mm. See, locksmith want to move units? I don't think the locksmith will. Just because your dad like your music, that don't mean that you got pop a pill. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you just shouting your mouth off. Go eat a cock and chill, bruv. It's battle rap. These days it's about as gully as Notting Hill. I said these days it's about as gully as Notting Hill. Plus your girl's a spotty pig, so I call her Hogwarts. Like the place where Harry Potter chills. <laughs> but if I'm using Harry Potter bars, you know I don't really take you serious. Really, bitch. I mean, you're fucking delirious. You think I'm either feeling him or fearing him. Fuck that. I just came here today to make a meal of him. Tastes like shit. <laughs> Tone. <laughs> you're always talking like you hate rap. You got more in common with these battle rap folks, cuz. I mean, it's a young man's game. UK hip hop for them old bums, no room for verbs and jokers. Kinda ironic, cuz when you young and restless in this game, you need high focus when you flow, cuz. Nothing? Mm. <laughs> yeah! Tough rap. Tough rap. Mm. Tough rap. Yeah, man. You gotta listen to the rap. Poison and poets. Poisonous poets. <laughs> they got your hopes up, left you choked up. Started fucking with that poison, didn't you? You lost love for hip hop when record label saw that your in <laughs> stop laughing. You lost love for hip hop when the record label saw that your ingredients for your poison weren't official. All your members rolled out, they left tone out, left them for dead out in the cold with issues. Part of you died inside when you realized nobody feel you. That's what happens when you fuck with that poison. That poison kills you. Mm. 
See, some people say Tony's one of the best in Don't Flop. They see him and tip their hat. But if he's really the best in Don't Flop, how fucking shit is that? <laughs> see, I drop gems when I spit. His rap style is like bric a brac. You went up against truth. One of the reasons I don't really speak, think you spit in facts. See, I think truth beat you in that battle. Everything you spit was whack. So next time I see him, I'ma give him that while he's doing Sudoku on your missus back. <laughs> see, right now, you owe your career to Locksmith, Reveal, and Er. Uh. So if one of them call you, I know that you're obedient. I mean, yeah, in the crowd, for sure, there's people feeling him. But to me, as I said, you're kind of basic set-up punch. He's like a real boring comedian. <laughs> me? Go for it. So, oh. uh, you want to tag? Do that <laughs> Why you using him, Tone? Be a young man trying to make something from nothing. You taking his shine away. Verb T is so obvious. Opportunities ain't offering doors anymore, so when opportunity knocks, he opened doors with a locksmith. Mm. Mm. Hate you. <laughs> you don't like you much either. <laughs> <either. laughs> I use a knife to open up locksmith. The knife that I use called the lockpick. Uh, it's nice to the open up lockpick. I'm a bully. I pick on lock. You got rock to shoot, block to shoot. You got that raw cooked food where the cheese at. You locksmith, you got piff. You better show me where the weed stash. If not, I'll kick off lock if you don't show me where the keys at. I said I'll kick off lock if you don't show me where the keys at. <laughs> Yeah, so. <laughs> well, I mean, I was kind of out of bars, but I think if I keep rhyming, it's all good. If you like Alan Partridge, you'll like this last bit. If you don't, it's going to be kind of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> no way, you big spastic. You're a mentalist. <laughs> See, I get darker than Norfolk Knights. Fuck Locksmith, I'll put an end to him. Hey, Tony. Your mum's got some fantastic breasts. <laughs> I saw her and I thought, she was certainly first in the queue when God was handing out chests. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm talking about your mum, so you're best to defend her. I went to shag her on the table, thought the table was too small, but then I pulled it apart and said, yes, it's an extender. <laughs> Had a spell on your mum's brain, it was kind of like voodoo. I saw her the next day, couldn't recall the face. She said, you don't remember me, do you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean that. I've never met your mum. Me cussing your mum is like saying you're fucked up and you can't challenge me. People say I've got issues. I say, oh yeah, of which car magazine? <laughs> See, when I woke up, I knew today would be a fun day. Even though I'm here battle rapping on a Sunday. Bloody Sunday. <laughs> See, we should be battling guys from DFI because their rhyming is lethal. Yes. I mean, their rhyming is sick. Mm. But when you watch DFI, remember, there is more to Ireland than this. <laughs> See, we could be battling Definition and Zeus. I mean, those Geordies are lethal. I would rather battle them, but I have trouble understanding the Geordie uh, people. <laughs> but needless to say, I don't think these guys look tough. Your biography should be called Needles to Say I Took Drugs. <laughs> well, that's about all I can do. I'm about to leave you fuckers. But before I go, one last thing. Smell my cheese, you mothers! <laughs> Alan Partridge. Let's go. I ain't the type, I ain't the type you want to beef for scrap. Don't tell me to lower the tone when I'm speaking rap, because I will lower the tone. I'll send him to the concrete with slaps. I will lower the tone, and force y'all to be silent. Headshot for both your pussies, I'll force y'all to be violent. Drag both your bodies across the beachfront. Dig a ditch, put both y'all in it, and hope no one on the beach find it. Then put tone on lock, like I told you to be quiet. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Time. 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 Yo, make some noise for the bar!